Hello world, this is Lisa Fredrickson, your friend and professor. I want to zoom in on the most popular controls, the label and the text box, and clarify them and differentiate them. The two major types of controls that you can put on any form of report are bound controls. By bound, we mean they're bound to data that's stored in the tables. For example, in this text box, High Adventurer Club, I could edit this data and find that information changed in my backend table. If I changed the data here, went back to group, I would see the data changed in the form. So bound controls are tied or bound to data that's stored physically in these tables. Unbound controls, such as labels on the left, cannot accept the focus. In other words, I cannot click on duration and change that label here when I'm looking at the form and form view because it's unbound, it's not tied to data. It's just describing the data. I can change the duration to 17 in the text box, but on the label that says duration, I cannot modify any data. It's an unbound control. Now that seems pretty straightforward when you're working with a form and form view. When I change to design view, the difference between a label and a text box is much less clear because we're working in the design surface where we can modify any control we want. Now, if we're ever not sure if we're working with a label or a text box control, we can always open up the property sheet. The property sheet button is found here on the design tab and I can toggle it on or toggle it off. I like to leave it on because at the top of the property sheet, it always tells us what type of control we're working with. A label can be large, it can be small, a text box can be small, it can be large. But the point is that labels are unbound. Describe data but is not bound to the data. For example, if I felt that it was more clear to call this trip number, I could edit that label to say whatever I thought was most descriptive. However, here on the text box, if I edit this to say trip number, I'm going to get an error. And there's my little error, green error message popping up and it's saying no such field exists. The text box must always be bound to the exact field name, whatever that field name is. If you don't know the field name, you can go over to the property sheet, click the data tab, and find the available field names for this form in this drop-down list. So I can precisely determine what the field name should be, trip no without a space. I'll go back to form view. And again, as I tab, the text box controls will receive the focus because I can use bound controls to change data. Here I'm using a combo box, change data. Here's another text box. I'll change the price to 1500. So bound controls help you change data in the underlying table. Labels, unbound controls are simply there to clarify what's going on on the form. Now this is straightforward in a form, but it gets even more confusing in my opinion when we work with reports because in design view of a report, the labels and text boxes are often colored the same. When I'm in design view of a report, it's also very important to know if I'm working with a label or a text box. When we're in the detail section, which prints once per record, we're almost always working with text boxes because we wouldn't want a label to repeat for every record and say the same text. In report design view, we only see text boxes in the detail section. Often in design view, we only see labels in the page header section because we want that label to print off at the top of every page. Interestingly, when I'm in a form, if I want to create a new text box, I'm going to go to my design tab and notice that my text box control and my label control are side by side, but I do get the little pop up to help me identify which is which. When I add a new text box to a form, I get it label automatically. And that's because every text box pretty much knows that it's going to need a descriptive label in order to clarify what information is being entered into this text box. And so usually you'll get a label and you can rename that label. Let's call this tax. In my text box control right now, access is saying unbound. That means this text box is unbound. It's not bound to any underlying data. So there's really nothing to show you no matter what record I'm on. I'm going to go back to design view and I'm going to put something in that text box. Now I can either put a field name and I can find the field names that are applicable on the control source drop down list, or I can add an expression. 
who calculate the tax. And the expression, all expressions in controls in access start with an equal sign. And it could be something like this price times, let's say the tax is 8%. And so I'll put in the decimal equivalent of 8% and hit enter. And now I've bound that text box to this expression. This particular text box is also bound to an expression. It's taking the trip start date plus a duration and giving us the trip end date. So let's look at this in form view. And the tax on 8% on 1500 is $120. To format that data, I would simply go back to design view, click the control that I want to modify, and then choose the appropriate format. In this case, I want it to be currency, either on the ribbon, or of course, I can go over here to the format tab in the property sheet as well, and choose currency here. Same difference, back to form view. And now my data is formatted as currency. If I modify my price, I'm going to automatically see that expression, which is bound to the price field times 8% automatically update as well. I hope this helped clarify a little bit between the label control and the text box control. Thank you for listening.